Figure it out. Hello, this is Adam Carlick with Flying and Eating. Today, let's go somewhere and do something. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey guys, it's Adam here. In the previous episode of Flying and Eating, I made my way out to Frankfurt, Germany. I had a nice little meeting I had to take care of, so that was cool to, for them to bring me out. And after that, I kind of had free roam. So after spending basically a day by myself, my girlfriend came into town, and now we are going to adventure through the city of Frankfurt, Germany. Good morning. It is day, I want to say, four at this point. Uh, we are now on to breakfast at Sunnyside. West End is where we are at. I have ordered an orange juice and, of course, the bane of my existence, an Americano. Uh, you know, a coffee that isn't really a coffee. Anyway, you got this fancy thing. What is this called? Uh, just water. Vasa. So, we just came out of there. What did you think of your food? Oh, it's so good. It really was. All right, so I don't remember exactly. I had something called like the sunny side up, whatever. It was like avocado toast is the very, very cheap way to refer to it. It had that, but it also had like cottage cheese. It had two eggs on it. I think it had pomegranate on it. It, it was, did have pomegranate. It was so good. It was just like kudos to that place. No, kudos to me because I'm the one that chose it. Also true, but you didn't make the food. They did. How do you know? I could have vanished. I guess that's possible. I did look down at my phone at one point. It's possible. No, what do you think of yours, though? Oh my god, it was so tasty. I had the um, Benedict bagel, which obviously is like eggs and crushed avocado and all that. Oh my god, it was so buttery. Yeah, I surprise sleeper hit already. That place, go there. Yeah. Check it out. There's water, babe. You remember how much you like water? Here, go play in the water. Go ahead. Have a good time. Well, yeah, it's misty and stuff. Here, look, water. Yay, water. There, water. I watered. Look up there. Dem Warren Sharon Guten. That means, hello, play with the water. So the girlfriend and I stopped at a Dunkin' Donuts. You guys probably never heard of this. No. Uh, here's the thing. They do have Dunkin' Donuts in parts of Europe. It's kind of rare, but they do all sorts of different flavors that don't get, happen don't get made in the U.S. They also do them, frankly, much higher quality. So the girlfriend here, who has never had Dunkin' Donuts before, ended up getting a strawberry swirl. Just throwing this out there as a reminder, this is a drink called Spezi. This is a German invention. It's basically half Coca-Cola, half Orange Fanta. Orange Fanta is basically a German invention that Coca-Cola eventually bought. This is the original version of a Spezi. Uh, there is a Coca-Cola brand one called a Mezzo Mix. I personally recommend this one, although this comes in a glass bottle, which is far superior, but I have not seen it in forever. So that's just a pro tip in case you want to try something, something quintessentially German. Good morning. It's day, I want to say five or six. I don't really know. It doesn't matter. Um, so we're on our way to go get breakfast over at some place called the Dining Raum. I think it's the Dining Room. Well, yeah, it's Dining Room. Translation skills over here. Um, now, the question I had for you, you've never been to Germany before, right? Obviously. What are you thinking of Germany so far? I like it. It's chill. Um, obviously, there, there's stuff to do here, but I don't know. It just... Kind of seems like a ghost town. Frankfurt is, like I said earlier, it's it's more of an air it's more of an airport that has a town yeah. attached as opposed to a city that has an airport. I like it here though. It's chill. It's chill. So this is where we ended up coming. This is a place called the Dining Raum. I think we were talking about before. Yeah, you found it, right? Or did I find it? Uh, technically, I found it, but then you decided to go here. Yes, I kind of pushed this on her, and I was like, "Hey, this would be better than McDonald's." I didn't. Do you think this might be better than McDonald's? Well, obviously it will be, but I never said I wanted McDonald's today. I always just assume you want McDonald's. Anyway, so yes, this place is like um, just kind of a breakfast spot. We'll go in and see. They had something called a breakfast burger. I think that's going to happen. Am I allowed to have a burger this time? Yes, you may. Ooh, I didn't get the salad argument. I might have the bacon egg thing. I don't know. Bacon egg thing? Yeah. My breakfast burger was bomb, dude. Like, it had an egg on it. It actually had jelly under it, which might throw people off. It was good though. It had bacon, it had so much happiness. Don't that, you poke me in the eye. I won't poke you in the eye. You still didn't get poked in the eye. Anyway, what did you think of what did you end up having? I actually ended up having a breakfast granola. Why didn't you get the bacon thing? Because it wasn't on the menu. Oh. It was. Weird. It was. But uh, yeah, no, that place in all seriousness, that place is really nice. We actually highly recommend that. It was a really nice breakfast spot. Really good orange juice, but big deal over here. German orange juice is awesome. It really is, because they do this. Well, you don't like pulp. I do. But here's the thing about European orange juice. It's much better than ours in the States. They use oranges, and they squeeze them. End of it. We don't do that. We put, like, chemical death in ours, and it tastes like crap. But anyway, so, yeah, no, in all seriousness, the, the dining room, highly recommended. Great breakfast spot. 
So we're about to go into a park, and this one is kind of like a little Holocaust memorial. And each one of these is a name of an individual that died in one of the concentration camps, and then it has names uh, of every person, as well as the camps themselves, things like uh, Treblinka, Auschwitz, etc. Um, I don't, I don't pretend to know all the details, like why there's a rock in every single one, but yeah, it's just a, it's a memorial that spans very far beyond and all the way around. So outside of that uh, little memorial thing, there's uh, inside of it, there's actually a cemetery uh, where a lot of those people are buried, I guess. Um, we accidentally got them in there for a second. It's constantly, apparently it's always locked, but the door was actually open. So we just walked in thinking it was like something you could go to. And we looked at it for two seconds. I didn't even have a chance to open the camera or anything. And this lady, so I was like, do you have a key? You're allowed to be here? What are you doing here? And we're like, I don't know. <laughs> so we just calmly left. So yeah, I guess keep that in mind. If you go there, you can really only see the exterior unless by accidental happenstance the door is open for a second when it's not supposed to be. So, the girlfriend has successfully tricked me again. We are now at a place called the Palmen Garten. I hope I'm pronouncing that decently enough. Out here you have a little, um, you know, river type of area. People get in these little boats and do that. Maybe we'll do that. I doubt I can talk her into that, but <laughs> that would actually be kind of cool. And then uh, out here there's trees and nature and things. Now there is a little bit of an entry fee to this place, but um, you know, it's a garden and a park and all that kind of stuff. And you can look at, well, that's my favorite kind of nature. These plastic things, these plastic trees that grow. Those are my favorite. Now they look oddly like little people with like horns, but leaves as horns. That is my favorite tree. Now this is fake nature inside of a building, but still, nature. <laughs> How do you feel about dragging me to nature again? I'm very happy that I should manage to do it. She tricked me into it. I didn't trick you. She tricked me into it. She's like, we're gonna walk down the street. All of a sudden, nature. So inside of nature, artificial nature, you have other types of trees and flowers and things. And there's like a fake little river. And there's people with cameras. I look very similar to them. Which part of nature do you like the most? That stuff. That guy? No. <laughs> so, you want me to walk across this? Yes. All right, let's do it. Yay! You can do it. There's one, then there's another, and there you go. Boom. Oh, look what you did. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. So far, we've walked around a lot in concrete nature. How are you feeling about that? I'm good. My foot, my foot's starting to hurt. Why does it hurt? because I'm not used to walking around all these places. It was all like bananas, but they're not. Do you want to go in one of those little boats? Absolutely not. Why not? Because water and me do not mix. But you love water. Yes, so it doesn't mean I want to go in it. But, oh, this is because we watched Titanic last How about night. you go in it? Babe, check out the name of that ship. That would have been ours, the Rose. Rose. Get it? Yes, dear. We saw Titanic. Shouldn't there be a jack behind it? No, that one sank. Behold, a fountain. See, I would do the boat thing by myself, but the way it works, you need two people to create momentum. Otherwise, you just spin in circles. This one would gladly let me spin in circles for eternity. I really don't want to do that. It's okay. You don't have to. We won't do it. I and... have to rent it. Oh, you do? Yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, that's the end of that then. Babe, you want to play with that? No. Why not? I'll take a photo of that because I actually got bitten by one of those kids. You got bit by one of these, so you don't want to play with it? No, I don't think so. There's actually more plants out here, which is kind of surprising yeah. to find plants in nature. Have you ever seen plants in nature before? Of course I have. That's weird. How could you not? Well, I've seen it in movies and stuff. No, but like... CGI, yeah. yeah, well, no. I mean, usually they are CGI, that's true. But I have seen it a few times. Uh, just I've never seen it before except all the times that I have. So we're inside this other uh, garden thing with a globe and a uh, tub of urine. Babe, I got an idea. What? You like water and nature, right? You, I have, so maybe if you dive in here, you can pay for our whole trip by, <laughs> by recovering all that. No, you do it. I thought you wanted to dive in there. You were talking all about it the whole way here. Just off camera, that's all she was talking about was wanting to dive in this little pond and steal all this money. Babe, look, a turtle. That's so cute. So we just left uh, artificial nature. What'd you think of it? I like it. I wasn't that artificial. Well, there was fake nature and real nature, but it was some artificial nature. Mm -hmm. Do you like artificial nature as much as real nature? Yes. How about natural nature? Mm -hmm. So we're, you're just on board with all kinds of nature. Mm -hmm. Why do you make me do nature? Because you're chunky. You're making me eat salads, check out nature. Then I think you're trying to kill me. Have these. The pork chunks? Well, whose fault is that? Yours. Oh, right. I like this bus stop or train stop here. This is pretty cool. 
It just looks like a subway car just came up out of the ground, which I guess is the whole point. Babe, do you like this? Or is this like a horrible accident we just stepped uh, uh, into here? Babe, what is this? Oh, it's a subway entrance. <laughs> yes, I'm always filming. I didn't know you were filming. It's Buckenheimer. Babe, check it out. I found your favorite street in the entire world. Okay, so you guys know I've been making a big deal about the whole German Coca-Cola thing. Glass bottle is extremely important. We've been over this. They use different chemical mixtures, more real sugar. They also have a different water supply. To my taste, German Coca-Cola is the best Coca-Cola on the planet. Uh, and I think Mrs. Korlick agrees. Sure. It's good enough. Anyway, we wanted to try a German Sprite and see if that's any different. So I found a glass bottle one. Let's go. It's good. I don't know if it's the best Sprite I've ever had. I'm gonna have to drink it more. <laughs> I've never had a real sugar Sprite before. It's actually pretty good. I think it's a lot better than the one I'm used to. Guten Morgen. It's day, I have no idea. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, I don't know. Anyway, we stopped over here at this little like food truck. Suddenly out here in the main town there's like a food truck day, I guess. I don't know. So we decided to get some uh, bratwursts. So what are you thinking of yours since you've already dived in? I like it. Yeah? It's like basically like a big hot dog sausage deal. And then they have condiments on the side. She went with the ketchup. I went with ketchup and mustard. Mustard's more traditional with the German sausages. So you're enjoying yourself? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm sure I will too. I, I would argue that I've had better bratwurst before, but I've also had far worse. And for only five euros, which you paid for, because she's super cool. Um, yeah, no, no good place. That was quite good, actually. Nice, good street food. Okay, so I wish I had seen this earlier. Not a concept I'm familiar with. You can have potatoes on a stick. That's German engineering right there. They're called tornado potatoes. That's cool. Tornado potatoes. Okay, so now it's beverage time after all that. What did you get? I got a Capri Sun. Never had a Capri bubbles. Sun. Capri Sun, I guess, is kind of rare over here. As an American, I find it kind of funny because it's like the type of thing they include in like little kids' meals and stuff. But yeah, as long as you're happy with that. Although I've never seen it in a can. That's new. I've never seen it in a can either. That's yeah. why I wanted to pick it. That I might, don't see how the car. That might be a German thing. I got this. This is a 7-Up Cocktail Exotic. I can't imagine there's really alcohol in this. If there is, you're getting this. But um, yeah, it's like got pineapples and I think uh, dragon fruit. What do you think of it? I like it. You burped, so it's I carbonated, did. right? Yep. Is it good? Yeah. Does it taste like a Capri Sun with bubbles? Yes. So it's a sparkling Capri Sun. This is for like fancy rich kids, basically. Instead of the Oscar Mayer Lunchable, Lunchable Capri Sun, they go like, no, no, no. Mine must have the bevels. Meanwhile, I'll try this. That's really nice. Try this. You try this? And a one, and a two. This is good too. I like that one better. You don't seem to like it. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Two bits and a cup, nobody. Hey, cheers, mate. So you'd probably think that I drink a lot of soda. I actually really don't, but she knows this. We found another exotic one. This is a 7 Up Mojito flavored. Again, a cocktail that I would never drink because I don't do alcohol, if you know. You want me to open it? I do. But that has no alcohol in it. And uh, I'm looking forward to trying it. I guess it's supposed to taste kind of like, yeah, go ahead. Lemon, lime, mint. Try it. Oh, you want me to? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Oh, she doesn't look happy. No, 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 no. It's what? It tastes like mint sauce and stuff that you put on meat. It does. It's like a mint soda. I actually like it. I don't know how much of it I would actually drink. But one time. You like mint? Yeah, the mint sauce. They have it. Glash bottles. Spitzy. Glash? Glash? Spitzy. We're getting a glass bottle spitz. We? Yes. This is an alternative brand of Spitzy, by the way. I never tried this one. Tempted to, but not going to. I'm going to stick with the legend, the goat. So we're out and about here. It's Saturday in uh, Frankfurt, and uh, here uh, I've got, you know, we don't know what day it is in our adventure, but we spotted something very rare. They have very well-trained bears here. Yeah. German bears. Now, German bears are highly efficient. There's no time for tomfoolery. There's only the mission. As you can see, Germans sacrificed the young to these bears to appease them. I 
also want to try a Fanta. Now, Fanta, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of. It's owned by Coca-Cola, orange soda, basically. It actually originates in Germany, and presumably this is the original version because it's not only glass bottle, it's real sugar, all that. The Germans love Fanta. That's what the Spezi is. It's like half this, half Coca-Cola. But also, and you might have noticed this when we were over at the, uh, the restaurant where you got your burger at, in the Coca-Cola machine, they have a bunch of Fanta flavors that are just... Ridiculous. There's one that's like elderberry. It's like these people ain't playing with that. But anyway, I want to try the OG one, so here we go. If you like orange soda, can't go wrong with this. This is strong. This is good. Do you like orange soda? Yeah. She does. We'll see how this goes in a few minutes or if I'm in trouble. Apparently not a fan. No, it's just really citrusy. Well, it's like the real one, right? Like well, More real. That. Not orange juice, obviously. I don't know. Do you like it? It's okay, but it's not something I drink out of choice. I would have it this one time and be mm. satisfied that I had it one time. So we had some excitement. The fire alarm went off in our room. Not our room specifically. We just threw out the entire hotel. And all these lovely people out here now have to wait because the fire alarm went off. We actually saw, obviously, there's firefighters. I don't think anything's really happening. Good morning. It's day. Who knows? Uh, the missus and I, who's right there, we're going across the Wunda Bridge. I have no idea what it's really called. It's a wonderful bridge. That's basically what I'm saying. And it will take us over there, and on that side of the city that we have never been to, we will find, what are we getting? Uh, you're getting schnitzel. What are you getting? I don't even know yet. She's getting not schnitzel. Well, let's not get McDonald's or anything like that. That's true, it's an improvement, although we did get Starbucks after we really admit that. But yeah, it's, I need some schnitzel. I need some like actual sit down, authentic German food because we've just been kind of doing like hippity dippity places, which have been very nice, but I want authentic Bavarian, yet not in Bavaria, German food. Birch. Birch? Bargy Oh, she likes boats. So we just came out of this place that I can't possibly pronounce, but the name was definitely on the screen. What did you think of your first schnitzel experience? Oh yeah, um, it was good, actually. It was a bit, I don't know, strange. It kind of reminded me of having like a chicken Kiev. Yeah, it's basically just like a fried pork cutlet. Every European country kind of does this a little slightly differently. Traditional one would be pork. There's also veal options, chicken options, uh, options as you mentioned there. With we're, we're thinking about going to see Oppenheimer. That's yeah. what it's so, Anyway, yeah, there's uh, chicken options, hence the chicken Kiev. Um, but yeah, so I liked it. Uh, this was the Frankfurt style, so there was like that green sauce on it. That was like cucumber. a yeah, it was like a cucumber something sauce. It was I liked it. I could see why maybe somebody wouldn't. But uh, it was like a cucumber tartar sauce. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's kind of how it tasted. Um, I liked it, though. I would recommend this. Granted, keep in mind, Frankfurt is not known for schnitzel. It's known for... That's right, Frankfurters. Hence the name. So you'd want to look up more like sausage places. But this was still very good. Okay, babe, I'm thinking that every video game I've ever encountered tells me, every instinct I've got, there is some sort of treasure hidden behind this door. Or a final boss. Could be a final boss. Tomb Raider made it very clear to me that was a possibility. Oh, the cops are coming because they know we found the secret door. So, if you guys are ever out in Frankfurt, as we've said before, this is like stereotype town area where you have to go to. It's like the thing behind us. There's the fountain, which you'll see images of. Trust me, it's unavoidable. But as a bonus, today we have someone playing music, which is actually quite nice. There was even the, the Game of Thrones score was being performed for us earlier. That was cool. I don't even watch Game of Thrones, and I know that one. Yeah, she's very good. She's good. We just stopped for a little bit of dessert. You had an ice cream sundae or something? Yes, I know. That was good. Very good. That was good. I had an apple strudel because stereotype. It was actually very good. The, the food was good. Service, pretty bad. <laughs> they were nice, but they didn't really seem to care if we were there or not. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. This evening's soda has been uh, acquired. This is a mezzo mix. Again, we've talked about this before. This is also known as a Spezi, a very German concept. Half Coca Cola, half Fanta, basically, orange Fanta specifically. That is a concept. This is actually Coca-Cola brand specific, so Coke actually makes this. Uh, I think the traditional Spezi one is better, but for the purposes of the video, I decided to go ahead and get a mezzo mix. Now keep in mind, like all these sodas, you can get them in plastic bottles, cans, glass bottles. Always go with the glass bottle. 
much better. Anyway, here we go. Yeah, that's nice. But the I maintain the original brand is still better, but this is definitely better than, say, the uh, can version. Good morning. It's day... You got a guess? Six. No, For that's me. definitely wrong. Um, of the whole trip, probably more like 12, but I have no idea. I'm totally wrong. <clears throat> that's not the point. Point is, we're going here. This is Metropole. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. I, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Oh my God, don't believe me. Metropole de Dom or something. We need food, and the place we wanted was actually closed, but this place was opening. It's, it, it's Monday in Germany. Naturally, everything is closed. How could I underestimate that? I just wanted the granola. Then get the granola. Get the granola. Yes, dear. So we just came out of there. What did you think of your food? Oh, it was so nice. What did you have? I had, uh, well, I don't really know what it was called in German because I didn't study it, but it was a uh, croissant and then like some kind of bread with sesame seeds on it. And then I had butter, strawberry jam, I think, and fruit with Nutella. Yeah, that was kind of the weird thing about that place is it, it wasn't like traditional breakfast. They had like things like bread basket combos. So like I got one that had bread, but it also had a little bit of chicken. It had caprese salad, which is of course why I did it. Caprese, just to put this into, under full understanding, I love a caprese salad. To me, a caprese salad is the babe of salads. It's like the ultimate goat salad. Just don't put balsamic vinaigrette on it, even though it's traditional, it's totally wrong. And this place didn't do it. They just put on the tomatoes, the basil, which was liquefied, admittedly, and the mozzarella. Oh, wonderful. The bread was very good. The fruit was good. It was all pretty good. It was just kind of like, huh, that's what breakfast is? But it's a very nice, light breakfast. We're going to function th well throughout the day, doing some shopping and stuff. And then tonight, the big meal. One thing to keep in mind, so we're currently in a mall, and I want to use the bathroom. The charge for the bathroom. Every part of me as an American says, F*** you. So we are now out at a place called Der Fettbühl, uh, forgive my pronunciation obviously. Uh, it's like a fancy kind of burger place. I was craving like a good German burger. I mean, Hamburg, surprisingly, not surprisingly, hamburger comes from Hamburg, right? Remember that? No. Frankfurt is coming from Frankfurt. Hamburgers come from Hamburg. We're in need of, well, we are in Frankfurt. Never mind, you get the point. I wanted a burger. Do you want a burger? Yes, I do, and I'm waiting to order. And I want a cocktail. One cocktail. Um, I want more, I'll find out. Yeah, I'm getting the burger this place is actually named after, the Der Fettbühl, which, forgive my pronunciation once again, apparently it has two patties, it has two slices of old Irish cheese, funny enough, uh, an organic egg, homemade beef bacon, which is bacon derived from cow, not pig. Um, tomatoes, caramelized onions, barbecue sauce, and chili sauce. Going for that. Funny enough, there is one called the Der Americaner. I'm not doing that one, just because that's like, duh. So what happened here? I decided to get a cocktail. Okay, what is it? It's a lady killer. It's primarily gin. And it's, I think it's got lemon and orange and all sorts of stuff in it. I definitely see an orange. Looks like fancy orange juice. I've had it before, uh, once, when I was in Doolin in Ireland. In, I think it was about a year ago now, actually. So, yeah, here we go. Go for it. So, good. So, we just came out of there. What did you think of your burger? I love it. And your cocktails. Oh, yeah, he let me have two instead of one. Because <laughs> he's a good boy. Thank you, dear. Um, <laughs> we also had fries. You really seem to like the fries a lot. Ooh, they were so nice. They kind of remind me of the Nando's ones. Nando's fries? Yeah, peri peri. Nando's peri peri. Mm -hmm. They were a step above. They're Belgian fries. Um, I had that big super burger. That thing was great. They put pickles on it. They did put pickles on it. I'm it didn't, so, it I'm didn't, so sorry. It didn't mention it in the description. I removed you them. You should Don't, always ask. I, it, I did remove them. They, I never had to taste one, thankfully, but that was a stranger danger situation if I've ever been in one before, but uh, yeah. No, for real though, really good burger place, super nice staff. The guy working there was Polish, and we only know that because he talked about it, and I was like, ah, that explains why he's super helpful and actually like wants to come to the table and interact with you. Your arm's sticky. Sorry, dear. Polish people are awesome. Anyway, so yeah, this place is very nice. Check it out if you're ever in Germany and you want like a big, big burger. Hello, it is day unknown uh, here at FRA Frankfurt Airport. Uh, the girlfriend uh, has just gone on her way um, and I'm about to board mine or head over to my section. So it's a little hard because you have to do that moment where you're not together anymore. Um, it's okay, be strong. 
uh, one thing I, she finally understood is how terrible Europeans are at running airports. So she's in the B section. Now at Frankfurt, that should be easy because you should have this, where it says go there for the B section. The problem is those signs contradict each other. There's ones down there that say, oh no, B is this way. Other ones that say it's that way. And it wasn't just an American thing. We had Germans following us and being like, where is the B section? <laughs> Nobody could find it. And eventually it all gets whittled down to this one little corner. Stupid. Um, yeah, anyway, so I have to go to the Z or Z section because that's for American departures typically. So, But there is good news here. Um, my buddy Joel, who's a super fan of the channel, shout, big shout out to him. He was like, oh, I ain't letting you go on a economy seat. So he upgraded me to first class. So I get to go to the Polaris, all that fun stuff. Uh, but my flight boards pretty soon, so I don't think I get to enjoy any of the perks of like the lounge or anything like that. But I am technically eligible, but I wanted to spend more time with the lady first. Lover and stuff, you know? Anyway, so onward to boarding. Don't, don't forget that you have to do exit customs in Germany. Uh, and that should mean, in my case, since I have easy pass, I should be able to just scan my passport and walk through the e-gates. But if not, standard. So I cleared exit customs. Unfortunately, the e-gates, yet again, did not work. Europeans, please learn how to run airports. So back there is airport security beyond uh, the customs, which, again, the e-gates didn't work. <laughs> why, why would it ever work? Um, so, yeah, then we go to airport security, which was just manually checking every single bag like they were looking for something specific it was just i'm not kidding we we, we stood there for about 45 minutes every single bag just of course once they finally got to mine oh yeah you're fine yeah either people just don't know how to fly or they just don't know how to scan stuff absolutely f***ing ridiculous um, so technically, because of Joel, I'm, up, I'm eligible for the Lufthansa Lounge, but my flight boards so soon, I don't think I even get to show you guys that. I'll try. I'll try. So just so you guys are aware, Germany does have tax-free shopping, technically. They give you this thing when you buy stuff. Uh, however, it's stupid, naturally. It doesn't work properly. You have to fill out a bunch of forms and stuff. You have to collect all these original receipts. And then you have to actually mail this thing. The whole point of it is to make it impossible so you don't actually do it. Because they take so long to get you through security and everything, you're never going to make your flight if you have to waste time with this. So, uh, the Japanese, they know how to do it. Just as a reminder, they have an Albert Einstein statue. Yeah, I would have loved to have taken you guys there, but thanks a lot for European uh, efficiency. We can't go. We gotta do the stupid bus thing again. Okay. Hello. Yeah, European aviation may be not the best, but it is nice to be back in Polaris. Thank you very much to Joel again for making this possible. I would like to add that I apologize if I came off as a little bit short in all this. Uh, you have to understand, A, I now don't get to see my girlfriend for a while, and B, European airports are... They always find a way to do something incredibly wrong, but uh, let's all take the moment and enjoy, for myself anyway. Uh, and appreciate Joel again for hooking me up with, once again in the Polaris lounge, or not the lounge, the, the club, not the club, the seat, I can't speak, didn't sleep too well. Uh, but I appreciate being put up here, obviously. And when I get into town, maybe I can stop in the Polaris lounge, we'll see, I don't know. But um, yeah, thank you, Joel. You, you definitely made this a lot easier. All right, so I am now back in Chicago. I have arrived at uh, O'Hara's Terminal 5, the international terminal, which of course means having to clear customs. I love my city. I love O'Hare. But I genuinely pity anyone that ever has to land at Terminal 5 and attempts to make a connection to the rest of the airport. On behalf of Chicago, I am sorry. We just parked right by the customs area, so already I'm here, already I've gone through global entry. If you don't have global entry and you're an American citizen, you absolutely should get it massive line out there i got to skip all of it and they've actually made it to the point where i don't even need the passport anymore it just scans my face and says i can walk through and then a lady hands me a card that says i'm good to go i've skipped the entire thing customs for me took a split second it is wonderful the flight itself was quite good and being in the polaris pod of course very nice the main course i ended up getting the halibut the fish was very good uh the potatoes were the best part uh and then we had this little breakfast deal uh, which was risotto. It was a type of uh, uh, it was like a pasta. No, rigatoni, not risotto. It was a type of rigatoni. 
it was good. Uh, and I had a nice little salad and everything. Healthy living to some mild extent. Anyway, now I must wait for my bag. Uh, and that will actually conclude this adventure because if I could, I would bop, bop over to... I'm actually... This is the sad part. I'm eligible for the Polaris Lounge. But I can't go to it because I can't leave. Once I leave here, I'm no longer in the airport. Which means I can't go through security to get into the Polaris Lounge. Sadness, I know. So anyway, it's been a fun adventure. Huge shout out to my girlfriend, of course, uh, for being awesome. You want to follow her, her social media stuff will be in the description. Uh, and as well as, I want to give a shout out to, I can't really shout them out, but the company that brought me out there in the first place for the meeting, I, as I rephrased it. So huge shout out to them, even though I can't say their names. <laughs> All the same, it was a fun adventure. And shout out to Vanessa, who shot a couple of clips for us that will end up in this video, even though you did not see Vanessa. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, like all the social media stuff in the description. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Discord, Patreon, etc. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all later.